Travel days are hectic. There's so much to get done and our patience is often tested. Come along with us to find out what it's like to travel 11 hours on a Romanian train from Timișoara to Bucharest. Be sure to watch till the end to find out if we actually make it to Bucharest. So I think we're gonna set up camp outside. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our wild adventures. All right, today is a travel day, so hopefully everything goes well today. You never know how travel days are gonna be. They're pretty stressful. We've been at this Airbnb here in Timisoara for about a month now, so we had to get everything packed up. Now we are waiting for our Uber because we're going to be going to the train station because we're gonna take like a 10 hour train to Bucharest. We don't have our tickets yet, so that will be something we have to do. And then also today's a vlog day, so we, has to, we have to post our vlog as well. So we have a lot going on, but so far everything's gone smoothly. Holly has said things have gone smoothly, but we've only really just packed up our bags and just taken them downstairs. Till now, we've actually had a car, which has made traveling around Europe a lot easier. But what ended up happening was the insurance policy wouldn't extend our coverage. Um, so I had to drive back from Timisoara to London and sell the car. So now we are back being carless and uh, roughing it out on public transportation, which isn't a bad thing entirely, but it definitely has its problems. Getting our luggage loaded up. Right. Packed, loaded, first hurdle done. Now off to the train station. We were right at the train station. We're gonna go inside, get some tickets. For to go to Bucharest. We use one of the kiosks, got our ticket. It leaves at 1.55, so we have a couple of hours to wait. Uh, the ticket price was 230 for two. It is really hot, there's no AC inside of the train station. So um, we're gonna try to find a seat and uh, then get some water. This is the other side of travel where you have to wait for hours and hours in an unair conditioned room, eat breakfast, do some work. So yeah, this is the realities. As Holly mentioned, today is a vlog day, which means we have to release a video. So uh, it's a double doozer. It's a travel and vlog day, so we have to get some work done. And there's no place better than where we are currently to do what we have to do. Sitting on the floor of the train station. Even though we came at 11 o'clock, um, things are now hitting the deadline. Holly's gone to get some food. The vlog is just on the verge of being uploaded. And I think we have now 10 minutes exact to the point where the train leaves. So it's getting a bit stressful. Um, Okay, there's five minutes left until our train gets here. Hopefully it's not late. We tried to upload the video, but um, the HD was processing, so we had to just save it. It's not going to be uploaded at 6 o'clock like we wanted, but that's okay. We'll do it when we arrive at Bucharest. We couldn't figure out where our wagon was because we have number three, but there wasn't a number three attached to the train. So we asked someone and they said that some more train carts are on their way, so we're waiting. Hopefully we don't miss the train. The only reason why we haven't hit the panic button is because there's a huge group of people who also seem to be equally as lost and confused as we are. So uh, hopefully there's safety in numbers. We've boarded the train and it's pretty crowded, so this is very awkward. Everyone's sitting in very close proximity. Our suitcases didn't fit on the luggage rack up. Um, so we're even more sticking out like a sore thumb. How long is the train right now? It's only 10 hours. That's it? Yeah. So uh, this is going to be an interesting train ride. But we're on it. That's the main thing. So all we have to do is just wait out these next 10 hours. Now that I've cooled down a little bit, I feel like I can eat my grocery store hot dog. We're about two hours into the train ride. The AC keeps turning off. It cools down, then it turns off. It's starting to get a little bit of a headache um, from the heat, I think. Uh, 
Chloe's being a very good girl though. She's just sleeping and being excellent. Allie, she's complaining non-stop, as usual. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be a long, what do we have, like seven hours left? Long seven hours, hopefully we can sleep. All right, so I just walked the length of the train. Um, just for a bit of exercise, we are now in our fourth hour. And uh, I feel very, very grateful and thankful because none of the other carriages are, well, some of them aren't even air conditioned at all, but none of them are as cool as this. And even this is pretty hot. So I would hate to imagine what people over there are. Got it. It's giving me PTSD. The beginning of our train ride was kind of boring. The scenery wasn't very nice, but now we are hitting some scenic parts of Romania. And we just saw a creek, and there's some mountains. It's really pretty. That moment of anxiety when you think the person is going to be sitting in all four seats. Oh, such a relief when they walk. We just had a very close scare. Who's going to tell the story? <laughs> I don't know how it works and I don't know how long we stay at each station, but I figured it'd be a good time to let Chloe go to the bathroom. So as soon as I put her down on the ground, then the train, uh, the guy that goes around and collects the tickets, he blew a really loud whistle. So I assumed that meant get back on the train or you're going to get left. And then as soon as we got on the train, the train started moving. So I was like, Whoa. but Chloe didn't get to go to the bathroom. So maybe next stop, we'll go faster. I've told Holly to go to the food court if she's feeling hungry, but she's <laughs> insisting on eating Chloe's dog food. Nummy, nummy. Oh, there you go, Messi. Chloe, we have some questions from our YouTube community. She said, what? Uh -oh. How do you eat with one tooth? Very carefully. I've just come back from taking a walk all the way down to the food cart. Ali is right, this one is the most air conditioned one, so we got really lucky. It also smells the least. Some of them have some pretty strong smells going on. Um, <laughs> so I do think we lucked out with this cart, for sure. All right, I'm reporting back. This is our 75th day on this train. We still haven't reached Bucharest. The sun is setting, soon it will be our 76th day. Now, the time is, it's nearly 8 o'clock, so we're definitely in the final stretch. What, three more hours? Um, it's going all right. The, uh, now that the carriage has started emptying out, the AC is now working, and I feel like things have generally cooled down. Making it through, spirits are still high, as you can see with Chloe. Spirits are high. It is now 10 past 9. And uh, me and Holly have reached a point where we have nothing else to say to each other. We've literally exhausted every single topic. And the next two hours will hopefully fly by as I sit in silence. Got anything to say? Sitting in silence. Chloe has decided that she is going to utilize the neck pillow. We risked it, but she didn't go. So being outside, how was it? It's so stressful because she just don't you just know. don't know when the train's gonna take off again. And then Chloe was just walking around, sniffing around. She didn't even do her business. She said it was too much pressure. <laughs> so it's just turning 11.35 now. According to our schedule, we should have been arriving in Bucharest right now. However, I just overheard someone who checked on the phone and uh, we're an hour and 45 minutes away. Fat up. Okay, I think we finally made it. It's probably like 12.30. Yeah. It's like an hour longer than we expected. We made it. What a long journey. It's been over 12 hours since we've been on this train behind us. At least we didn't have to cross any borders though, right? I mean, yeah, but it's just been a long, long journey, especially when 
I thought I was arriving in four minutes, but then it was like, oh no, you still got like another hour and 45 minutes. I think that was like the final. We're here. We're here. We now. have to get a taxi. Then we have to find our Airbnb, check into the Airbnb, and we have to eat because we're starving. So we still have a lot of things left to do, but we've made it finally. <laughs> step by step. We figured out where we have to go. We're just getting an Uber. Let's see if this goes through. The Airbnb where we're staying at has given us very detailed instructions about what to do. But uh, we've hit the first hurdle because it says you have to call this number. The attendee will come and open the door. Attendee's not here. Then they said uh, give the attendee a phone call. We did. No answer. So I think we're going to set up camp outside unless <laughs> something drastically happens. It's 1.47, nearly 12 hours to the minute that we left. It was a long, long day, a couple of hurdles. Fortunately, no arguments, at least vocal arguments, but uh, it was an all right day. It's hectic, travel days are long, but uh, we made it safe and sound, and uh, I think now we're just gonna crash.